Hi, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And in this video, I want to talk about how to choose a chlorine cell for your saltwater pool. Um, now, when I had my pool route in Arizona, I had two salt pools, and I was also the pool operator for the YMCA, and there was an 80,000 gallon salt pool. Uh, <clears throat> so I, I had become pretty familiar with uh, salt cells and what to look for and what not to do. Um, so they go by many different names, you know, if you've heard them, they go by a chlorine cell, um, salt water generator, salt cell, chlorine generator, but they're pretty much all the same thing. They take the salt water and they produce hypochlorous acid, which is chlorine, and you test your chlorine as you would a normal, uh, salt, or a, a normal chlorine pool. Now, obviously the first thing you're, you're going to consider is the price. Now, base models normally start around five to $600 uh, for residential pools, and they can go up to about 1500 to 2000 So you have a pretty wide range to work with. And just look at your budget and see, obviously, what you can afford. Now, one thing that I do recommend that, that you do is get one that's rated larger for your pool. Uh, what I mean by that is this, if you have a 25,000 gallon pool, get one that's, that can go up to 40,000 gallons, that can chlorinate 40,000. If you have a 40,000, get one that can go up to 60,000. And the reason for that <clears throat> is because if you get one that's right there or a little smaller, it's going to have to work harder to produce enough chlorine for your pool, especially if it's a heavily used pool. But if you get a larger unit, it, you can dial it back just a little bit and it doesn't have to work as hard, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, reverse, po reverse polarity is something that I liked. Um, <clears throat> we had this uh, at the Y on the hot tub, and reverse polarity simply means this. When one side of the cell is producing chlorine, the other side is being cleaned, and then a little while later it reverses. The other side is, is producing chlorine, and now the the opposite side is being cleaned. So that's really something to consider. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't have to clean the cell, regardless of, of what anyone says, you still have to clean the cell, you just don't have to clean it as often. So that's something else to take into consideration. Now, the this one, the manual test is one of the most important. When I had my, my route in Arizona, I had a digital meter, and when I went to the Y, I got a Myron analog salt meter, and here's a picture of that. That is an analog salt meter. It's really, really good, and it's one of the most accurate that I've used uh, since doing pools, since or being in pools since 1999. Now, the, where I got mine, or where the Y got theirs, is a place called TMI Salt Pure. Uh, that's they're based out of Washington State. They're very, very nice people. But you want to test the salinity of the water. You do, don't simply want to rely on the system. You want to get three different tests. You want to test it on the system, you want to do a manual test, and you also want to take uh, a sample of pool water to your local pool store for analysis. And what I also encourage you to do is to get some saline water. This is calibrated water, it comes in about a quart size container, and this way you can test um, the, the meter okay, uh, for your manual reading to see that everything is good. So if you get, say, 3,500 parts per million on your manual test and everything looks good on your system and you take it to your pool store, you get 3,500 parts per million, that's good. But if you get one test at 6,000 and another one that's 1,000 and another one that reads zero, well, something is off, okay? So you want to get those three tests. So this is pretty much uh, what you need to look for. And... Go ahead and do it. Happy, happy shopping for your chlorine generator. Uh, please check out the description box below, link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. So until next time, I'm Robert with this channel, Clean Pool and Spa. Be safe and happy swimming. Bye.